Hello, year 11, and welcome to our first video here for our fourth topic, functions and their graphs. We're going to start by talking about functions. What exactly is a function? Well, uh, we can think of it as some sort of machine. We put some x value in, I get a y value out. If I put an x value in and I get more than one y value out, I've got some sort of relationship between x and y, but it's not a function. We'll find out more about those later. It is, however, a relation. Now, function notation, we're going to jump straight into this. Function notation is often expressed as the f of x. Sometimes if I've got more than one, it might be the g of x or the h of x or something else. But anyway, the function of x, right? We might say y is a function of x. Uh, that's because y relies on x. We calculate y um, by performing some standard sort of operation to x. Right, so let's have a look at function notation here. I think I've got some examples to go through. Here we go. I've got the f of x and the g of x. They just refer to two different functions. We can see our first function, x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, second function, 3x minus 1. So, what happens if I ask you... Oh, can I move this? Yeah, hey, look at that. What happens if I ask you to find the function of negative 2? Well, I think we've seen this before already. What we do is we substitute negative 2 into our function. And it should, I think, look like this. Here we go. So, negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 2 plus 1 equals 1. Let's try again with a function of 0. Well, before we even substitute in here, we should see that all of the x terms become 0 when I substitute 0 in there. I just get that constant 1 at the end. And there we go. We can see that the function of negative 2 in this case produces the same value as the function of 0. Okay, that can happen. Now, function of 3, much the same. We substitute 3 in. 3 squared plus 2 times 3 plus 1 equals 16. There we go. So, there we go. That's using function notation. Now, I've got the g of x being a different function. The g of negative 2. I substitute negative 2 in there. And I get, in this case, negative 7. Now, what I'm asking for e is the function of the g of negative 2. Well, we know the g of negative 2 is negative 7. Using these um, fairly standard order of operations, we'll do the inner brackets first. So, the g of negative 2 is negative 7. And then we want to do the function of negative 7. So that's negative 7 squared plus 2 times negative 7 plus 1 gives us 36. Now, the g of the f of negative 2. We're changing the order around. Will this be the same? We'll have a look. The function of negative 2 we've already seen was 1, right? Back here, right at the beginning. Now, the g of 1 will be 3 times 1 minus 1, right? Equals 2. Not 36 at all, quite different. So, the f of the g of x is not the same as the g of the f of x. I can also multiply my functions by, uh, by like some coefficient, right? You'll see here in g, we do two lots of the f of x minus the f... Oh, that shouldn't say the f of g. That should say the f of x. Right, put an x in there. We'll fix that up. And what do we get? 2x squared plus 4x plus 2, right? That's double the f of x minus the f of... Oh, that shouldn't... This should say the g of x, right? Sorry, typo there. Mm. Uh, that should say the g of x, right, which is negative 3, right? The g of x is 3x minus 1, so the negative of it is negative 3x plus 1. I uh, collect like terms there and I get this. How messy. Anyway, one more example to go, and we'll be done for this video pretty fast. The f of the g of x, well, g of x is 3x minus 1, so the f of that, we square it, plus, plus double it, plus 1. And uh, I'm pretty sure, unless I made a mistake there, it all tidies up pretty well. Right, you can see here, see here, yeah, um, that we end up with 9x squared. How neat and tidy is that? And again, um, yeah, so we can do the functions of functions. Uh, we can substitute into our functions. We can multiply functions together and all sorts of things. Right, yeah, that's function notation. That's an introduction to functions. I hope it made some sense. And uh, apologies for that typo there. Please correct that for me now. If you've got any questions, you know what to do. See me in class.